Well, Happy New Year, everyone. Thanks for watching Bland County Survivor Man. Hey, guys, I really do thank you for watching. Hey, guys, uh, today on Bland County Survivor Man, uh, I've had a couple of requests. I made some quick lie here a couple of weeks ago, and I got a couple of requests for, from some uh, my people on Facebook who wanted to see how you do it, so I'm going to tell you how you do it. Now, the traditional way of making lie, I've already got that on the Internet, and uh, that seems to be getting a lot of views. But if you uh, don't have time to wait to make your lie, let's say you just want to get ready to dehair a skin real quick or make you some soap real quick, I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, guys, just get you a, a bucket. And this one's a galvanized bucket. You really want to use galvanized because, or uh, this one right here is one of these old-fashioned glass-covered uh, bowls, porcelain. Because lye just naturally will just uh, corrode and eat up metal and uh, contaminate your lye. But anyway, uh, uh, what you do is just get you a bucket like that. It's a two-gallon bucket. And I've already got in it a gallon of ashes. So what we'll do is we'll just add per gallon of ashes, I'm going to add a gallon of water. into the bucket. Now I do this on a very large scale outside in a in a uh, washing tub when I make the make my lye for dehairing and soap making but anyway right here's some lye that I've already made outside and that's for dehairing and soap making. I have another five gallon jug of it sitting right there. I still need to filter out but uh, all you do you put that water in that bucket, stir them ashes up inside there. Of course, you're going to be doing this outside or you're going to be doing it in a nice airy building like I've got right here. But all you do to make this quick lie, and I'm talking about you will have lie in four hours, uh, strained and ready to use in four hours. Put it on the stove or on your fire outside. Let the stuff come to a rolling boil. You'll notice that the stuff will boil up and sort of look like it's going to volcano out of the bucket. Pull the heat back on it and let the stuff simmer there until it cools down. And then let it settle out. When it settles out, just take you a porcelain dipper or a glass dipper. I've got an old porcelain dipper. There's what I use for to do mine. Just take that porcelain dipper dip your lye out, put it in your container, and uh, test it, and uh, let it cool down of course, and test it to see if it's the right strength or not. For deer skins, if like if I've got this, this good pure cooked down lye water, I will take and make it half and half for deer skin. One deer skin, I can take two gallons of water and a half a gallon of this lye and dehair that deer skin in three days, guaranteed if you are keep it in a warm place. So uh, if you're making uh, soap, just cook it down until your egg will float in it like I showed you in that uh, lye making or that soap making video and that's all you got to do. And guys have fun, I mean uh, this, this is one way of making quick lye and having it done in four hours and uh, not having to wait for weeks or days before you can get you some, some lye. So guys, like I said before, I appreciate you watching my videos. Happy New Year, and that's another tip from your Bland County Survivor Man. Have a nice day.